There's no days off, it's 24 7. We don't take breaks. Straight back in the gym after the fight. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, people? You're free to else at TVKO. I want to say another massive thank you if you are tuning in for the first time. Please do subscribe, like, share, comment on this video. It would be greatly appreciated. Trust me. Anyway, let's get into this. Um, I'm going to read a paragraph that came out this week, which kind of made me chuckle a little bit. Um, it goes as follows. I was the aggressor. I was the busier fighter. But he never hurt me or had me in serious trouble. He was being bad and being negative. People saw that. People still look at us both and say, I'm the more exciting fighter. Now, of course, I am speaking about Chris Eubank Jr. And he's clearly referencing the fight that he had with George Groves a little over a month ago at the Emian Arena uh, in the semi-final with the Ali Trophy. <sighs> now, I can't really say I'm too surprised. I've just learned to accept that delusion just comes with 99.9% .9 of the boxes, to be honest. And... I'm not even going to hate on Chris Eubank Jr. for that because it's a lonely sport, right? It's it's a very lonely sport. Um, up at all hours of the morning, eating shit you don't want to be eating, training day in, day out for hours. Um, just thinking about one man for, you know, for, for about 12 weeks, being away from your family. It's a lonely, tough, tough journey. And so... You know, maybe it's just human nature that a bit of delusion builds up, man. I don't know what it is, man. But I ain't going to hate on Junior for that. But what it does do is it answers a question that I've had in my mind ever since that fight at the Emian, um, which was, I wonder what state of mind Junior's in, whether he's thinking of taking people's advice and actually hiring a trainer and showing signs of being, you know, being willing to learn, or are we going to get the same sort of hard-headed, um, you know, I'm going to do it my own way, Christopher Eubank Jr. And, you know, we've got our answer. And it's it's not a surprise, to be honest. Um, but what that does, it leads me on to the question of this video, which is, will Chris Eubank Jr. be good enough to win a world title, whether it be a super middleweight or middleweight, doing it by himself? You know, to be fair to Chris Eubank Jr., to get to where he's got to and to get to the level that he's got to where he's fighting George Groves in semi-finals or tournaments is pretty darn good, right? Especially when you consider he has done it by himself. You can't really knock the guy. Um, the names that he's got on his record in terms of victories, uh, let's look at it. Chudanov, Spike O'Sullivan, Nick Blackwell, Quinlan, uh, Yildrim, Abraham, there's some decent names on there, but none of those are world beaters. I mean, Arthur Abraham back in his day was, but at the time of fighting Chris Eubank Jr. was certainly probably past his best. I think we, in fact, definitely past his best. Um, at middleweight, if he goes back down to middleweight, some of the names waiting for him at middleweight are no joke. You're talking about Jamal Charlo, who's gone up to middleweight now. His old nemesis, Billy Joe Saunders, who has improved greatly since they last fought. Um, and he beat him back then. So if you're asking me for my opinion, I think Billy Joe wiped the floor of him this time, even more comprehensively than the last time, which some may argue wasn't that comprehensive. It was a, it was a close fight, but Billy Joe beat him. Um, there's Canelo. Is Canelo really going to fight Chris, Chris Eubank Jr.? Does Canelo even know who Eubank Jr. is? And then there's Gennady Golovkin, the beast of the division, which who you had an opportunity to fight. And you ran away from when you actually demanded the fight you then inexplicably ran away from the fight so where do you go at middleweight do you fight Peter Quillen like what does that do for you do you fight David Lemieux now the David Lemieux fight is probably the most viable but again it's high risk for little reward at super middleweight who are you fighting at middleweight George Groves is a conventional super middleweight and you couldn't put a dent in George Groves in fact the only time George Groves was in any type of trouble in that fight was when he shoulder popped in the 12th round. Aside from that, you didn't really have George in trouble, Chris. So, who are you fighting at super middleweight? Do you know? It's tough. Um, you know, if you're not willing to listen to your dad, I'm not so sure you're ever going to be able to listen to another man training you. You had one of the best in the business looking after you for two fights, and then you sacked him in Adam Booth. So, 
I'm just not so sure with this one. And it's a shame because I actually feel like Chris Eubank Jr. is good for boxing. He's certainly good for British boxing. He's uh, he's arrogant in, in what I would say in a good way. His self-belief is second to none. Um, his showmanship is good to watch. Obviously very reminiscent of his father back in the day with jumping over the ropes and the posturing and the posing. But unlike his dad, you know, he, he's yet to back it up. And uh, that's the problem with Chris Eubank Jr. That's the problem he's going to have. Until you actually win a world title, you know, you're not going to be taken seriously. And, and that's what's happened to you now. And it's a shame. Um, I, for one, actually like Chris Eubank Jr. And I hope there is uh, some way where he can find his way back to a position where maybe he could win a world title. But without a trainer and keeping the same mentality of, well, I'm going to do it my way. I'm not so sure we're ever going to see him with that green belt or that red belt. You know, maybe he'll just be the nearly man. But I don't know, that's just my two pence on it. What do you guys think? The question of this video is, will Chris Eubank Jr. ever be good enough to win a world title? Whether it's at super middleweight or at middleweight. Super middleweight for me, very unlikely. It's not your natural weight, bruv. Go back down to middleweight. And even at middleweight, there are monsters, as I've referenced, waiting for him. So will he ever be good enough? That is the question. Um, I hope so. Uh, but my head says different, man. Um, that's it. For now, I'm Else. This is TVKO, and I'm out of here. Later.